Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Terry and I make Philippine travel updates. In this video, we'll talk about international flights for the month of March. Uh, we'll talk about airlines that fly to the Philippines and arrival capacity. And we'll talk about flight schedules of Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific. We'll also check some prices. So let's go ahead. Let's first talk about arrival capacity. This is important that every airport, three main airports that accepts international flights in the Philippines are Manila, Cebu, Clark. Manila being the main gateway of the country has the highest arrival capacity. This is 5,000, while for Cebu, 2,000, and then for Clark, 1,200. Now, do not worry about this arrival capacity because according to the IATF Resolution 159 and the announcement of the DOTR, fully vaccinated nationals shall not be included in the arrival quota set by the DOTR and its one-stop shop. So these arrival capacity are mostly for unvaccinated travelers. And you guys know that only unvaccinated Filipinos can enter the Philippines. Foreign nationals need to be fully vaxxed to enter the Philippines. Now let's start our flight schedules with Mactan Cebu International Airport, the Queen of the South. <laughs> so what airlines are flying to Cebu and what are their schedules or frequency? Now this is, let's start with Philippine Airlines. Philippine Airlines flies to Cebu through Narita, Japan. Uh, one times a week, every Saturday. And then we have Qatar Airways, that's daily. Emirates, Dubai to Cebu, Cebu to Doha, it's daily. And then there's Scoot. A budget airline, uh, Singapore to Cebu, Cebu to Singapore, five times weekly. Jeju Air has Incheon to Cebu, Cebu to Incheon every Monday. Jin Air and Cathay Pacific, um, they are just having scheduled flights, guys. Like, let's say for a month, they have three scheduled flights. For this month of March, they haven't announced it yet. Next up, we have Turkish Airlines, three times weekly. Yan. If you're coming from Europe or from Istanbul, yan, you can fly through Turkish Airlines and land directly in Cebu. So, question. Jennifer, if I land in Cebu, would the protocols be different? No, it's all the same whether you land in Clark or Manila or in Cebu. It's all the same. If you're fully vaxxed, no quarantine. And in Cebu, if you're fully vaxxed, no testing at the airport. Only un unvaccinated travelers will get tested at the airport. So yeah, if whether you want to land directly in Cebu, check out these airlines. Now if you are landing in Cebu but you are not a Cebu resident, don't worry. There are plenty of domestic flights in Cebu, guys. There's Air Swift. Oh, if you want to go straight to El Nido, Palawan. They have two times weekly every Monday and Friday flights. Philippine Airlines has a lot of flights there too. There's, Cebu, uh, there's Bacolod, Butuan, Cagayan de Oro, Katiklan, Clark, Davao, Iloilo, Tacloban, Zamboanga. And then there's more with Cebu Pacific and Air Asia, Manila, Camiguin, Dipolog, General Santos, Ozamis, Pagadian, Tacloban, Zamboanga. So this is good at least. Um, transit passengers don't have to go back to Manila. They can fly straight to their local destinations as Cebu has a lot of domestic flights. Next up, let's go to Clark. Clark is also a gateway that accepts international flights. So these are the international flights, airlines that fly to Clark for the month of March. We have Jin Air, Incheon to Clark, Clark to Incheon, Korea. They only have scheduled flights March 9, 16, and 23. And Jeju Air, it's more regular every Monday and Thursday through Incheon as well. Singapore with Scoot. Jetstar, Singapore as well. Singapore is open and they will be accepting Filipino tourists through their, through their vaccinated travel lanes. Yeah, guys. So check with airlines if they are doing the VTL. Next up, we have Qatar Airways and Emirates, Doha and Clark. That's both daily, yeah, for Kababayans in the Middle East. For domestic flights, guys, there are only three flights, domestic flights in Clark, since they are very close to Manila, no? We have Katiklan, Cebu, and then Cebu, yeah. So let's say, uh, what if I landed in Clark? Oh, babalik pa ba ako ng Maynila? Pwedeng mag-take na lang ng domestic flight sa Clark pa Cebu, and then from Cebu, punta, ta punta ka na naman so domestic uh, destination mo. So it's totally up to you. Malapit lang din kasi yung Clark sa Maynila. 
Now let's talk about Philippine Airlines International flights and we will check some prices with this one. So these are the scheduled flights of Philippine Airlines for the month of March. Let's start with the US. US, we have Manila to Los Angeles, that's 11 times a week. Wow. And then Los Angeles, 10 times a week, po daily, both daily. And then you guys, if you want to land directly in Cebu from Los Angeles and you want a direct flight, Philippine Airlines is your friend. There's two times a week, Wednesday and Friday. There's Manila to San Francisco with PAL daily. Manila to New York every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. New York to Manila Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Now let's go check some prices. Let's go, let's check Los Angeles to Manila for this month. All right, let's go with March 15. And then we stay there for one, two, three weeks. Go back April 4. Since there is no more quarantine, as long as you're fully vaxxed, guys, you can have a vacation in the Philippines for just two weeks, three weeks, one week. <laughs> because all your time will be spent with your with what you want, not in quarantine. Okay, it's yep, it's still expensive. Like this is one-way flight and 600 Cheaper one is itong ano, March 14, 600 dollars So we'll choose that. March 14 for $600. Let's choose the economy saver. Okay, moving forward, going back to the US. If we plan to stay there for three weeks in the Philippines, we'll go back on April 4. It's 495 Not bad because last time I was doing this, guys, $1,000 one way pa lang. So total for this flight, if we leave on April 4 and then we go... If we leave Los Angeles on... March 14, and then we go back on April 4, 1,104.27 US dollars. This is round trip, direct flight with Philippine Airlines. And just a reminder, going back to the US, the most important requirement is a negative test result as of today. March 4 is still required. Let's do other routes. Okay, let's try San Francisco. San Francisco to Manila. Ah, mali, mali. Yeah, Manila. Then we leave San Francisco on uh, March 20. We go back. Let's stay there for a month. April 20 in the Philippines. How about you guys? Where did you book your flight? Can you comment down below your airline and how much you paid? Maybe our kababayans can get an idea. Oh, mas mahal pala ito San Francisco. San Francisco to Manila Economy Saver is already sold out, so we have Economy Flex. What's the difference? Uh, Economy Flex, you can cancel after departure, no show fee, or uh, with a fee. And still the same check in luggage, 23 kilos. But flight changes, no charge, I see. So it's really flexible. And then going back to San Francisco, we stay there in the Philippines for a month. Let's choose this a bit cheaper, April 19, for 409, oh, asa na no, wala. Let's choose this one, and then going back to San Francisco, 495 with PAL, April 19, or oh, 4 seats left na lang daw. Let's see, if we leave San Francisco on March, on March 20 and we go back on April 19 with PAL guys checking today it's 1,529 how about we check with ano kaya with other airlines baka it's a bit cheaper let's do go check we leave on March 20 we go back on April 19 or it's showing Philippine peso. Oh, 50,000. Ay, mas mura ito, guys. Mas mura is ng Asiana Airlines. See? It's 50,000. How much is that? Compared to 1,500, that's big difference. Mas mura. But this is not direct flight, guys. Look, oh my goodness. You have a layover in Seoul for 14 hours. I mean, if, if you're traveling alone... I mean, I would take it if I save a lot of money. But if you're traveling with children or senior citizens, nako, rethink about it. 
Let's try naman New York. Oh, New York. New York to Manila. New York to Manila. Uh, let's leave New York on March 15. Oh, malapit na, mahal tong ticket natin kasi malapit na. April 15. Reminder that for those who are going to the U.S. who are not permanent residents, not U.S. citizens, you need to be fully vaxxed po. Okay, we have New York to Manila. We leave on, okay, April, March 17. We leave on March 17. The cheapest we can find here is 713 U.S. dollars. Still the same, 23 kilos. Two pieces, two piece at 23 kilos or 50 pounds per piece. Cancellation before departure with a fee. Okay. Continue. And then going back to New York. Manila to New York on April 15 is 690 US dollars. So if we take this flight, guys, we leave New York on April 15 on asana yun, March 17 and we go back on April 15, 1,400. I'm obsessed. I want to check with other airlines. I think mas mura yung iba guys. Kasi you know, it's flights with um, layover pa kasi. Ano yung schedule natin dito? March 17, April 15. March 17, April 15. Okay, let's see. Oh, mas mura ang Singapore Airlines. Kasi sa PAL, ano sa PAL? Magkano yung sa PAL? Sa PAL is 1,400. Ah, i-convert ko to ha. USD. 72,000. Samantalang itong Singapore Airlines, 50,000 lang. Mas mura siya, guys. But you have a layover in Frankfurt for almost 2 hours. And then a layover in Singapore for 2 hours. And 25 minutes, not bad. I mean, from New York naman is issued na naman yung ticket ninyo. So that's okay. And then you don't have to uh, pick up your luggage kasi this is with one airline. So your luggage is um, checked in all the way to the Philippines. I think this will do 1 hour and 50 minutes. And then 2 hours and 30 minutes layover. Kasi it's one, what's airline lang naman kasi eh. Okay lang yung layover. Basta one airline ang the best. Let's go back na to our flight schedules. Let's continue. Let's go to Manila to Honolulu. That's two times a week. Manila to Guam. There will be more flights with them. Starting March 19. Magiging four times. Guam to Manila. Four times pa rin. And let's go to Canada. Canada. Remember Canada guys, you can use antigen test na going back to Canada. That's a recent change lang. Hindi na kailangan RTPC or pwede na din yung antigen test. Manila to Toronto, Toronto, Manila once a week. And then Manila to Vancouver, Vancouver to Manila four times a week. Let's check some prices. Let's go with Vancouver to Manila. Ay na Clark, Manila. Let's leave on March 25. Go back on April 25. Proceed. Proceed. Okay, we have Vancouver to Manila on March 25 po. Oh, mas mura itong March 27. <laughs> so that's what we're going to, to get. March 27 for 838 Canadian dollars. Economy value na lang ang available. I see. There's stops na. Merong stops, guys. See, there was one stop. Di siya direct. Los Angeles. May stop sa Los Angeles ng 2 hours and 20 minutes. Meron talaga siyang stops, guys. This one is 6 hours. 
How about this one? Oh, 13 hours. It's too long. Yung first ang kunin nyo. Kasi ito yung may pinaka short layover. Economy value for 918 Canadian dollars. Okay, let's go to the next page. How about going back to Vancouver from Manila on April 25, 650 Canadian dollars. So, total natin guys, if we take this flight, we leave Vancouver on March 27 and then we go back on April 25 with Palpo checking today. It's at 1,568. Now, let's go to Middle East flights. Ito naman, mabilis mapuno kasi mga OFWs natin, marami sa mga bansang ito. So, Manila to Dubai, that's daily. Manila to Damam, three times a week. Manila to Riyadh, four times a week. Manila to Doha, Doha to Manila, daily. Check natin. Try natin yung Damam. To Manila. Um, alis tayo ng malabong merong pang flights nito. I think wala nang seats available. Pero try lang natin. March 30, balik tayo ng March to April 30. One month stay kayo sa Pilipinas. See, wala nang available. Oh, meron pang March 27, no? Meron pa lang March 29. Not bad. Akala ko puno na. Meron pa palang available. Ikunin natin to. Yan. Kung aalis tayo, kung aalis tayo ng damam ng March, anong date ngayon? Yan, kung aalis tayo ng damam ng March 29, pinakamura na nandito is 1,714 reals. And then, pagbalik na naman ng Saudi, Manila to damam, mahal pa rin, 1,405 reals. Total, total natin 3,000 reals. Mahal pa rin guys, no? Mahal pa rin itong Saudi. Try na naman natin yung Riyadh. Riyadh to Manila. Yan, alis tayo na March 30. Ganun pa rin, April 30 balik. Yan, 1,814. Oh, mas mahal. Grabe. 3,600 kung itong March 30 balik ng May 1. Oh, two months pala. Ka, ka, ka pala oh, one month lang pala. Sorry. 3,670 guys. Alis ka ng March 30. Balik ka ng May 1. From Riyadh to Manila. Manila to Riyadh. Ang mahal pa rin, no? Now, let's go to our New Zealand and Australia flights. Australia recently reopened its borders, no? So, we expect that there will be more flights going there. But let's first start with New Zealand. New Zealand is still closed. Thus, there are only special flights. To Manila to Auckland and Auckland to Manila are scheduled twice for this month, March 6 or 7, and then 20 or 21. And then these flights will stop over in Brisbane. Manila to Brisbane, Brisbane to Manila, same thing. March 6 or 7, and then going back 20 or 21. Then to Australia, Manila to Melbourne, times two, two times a week, every Friday or Saturday. Same thing with Melbourne to Manila. Manila to Sydney, Sydney to Manila, it's three times a week. Mm -hmm. Let's check some prices. Tingnan natin magkano ite Sydney to Manila. Sydney to Manila. I'm um, going on February, uh, March 26. Balik ng April 20. Right here we go. Sydney to Manila on March 26 is at 1,464 Australian dollars. Mahal naman. Mas mura itong <laughs> March 28, 799. Let's take that. But uh, I think that's uh, just a little bit over the normal price pre-pandemic times. Yan. I always fly with Cebu pa kasi guys. 
So this one is March 28, 700, oh, 800 Australian dollars. Uh oh, mayroon silang promotions na 30 kilos, yung extra 5 kilos na promo nila until June 30. Cancellation before departure allowed but with a fee. Let's continue. And then going back, Manila to Sydney, going back to Sydney in on April 20 is at 569 Australian dollars. So total guys, if you want to take this flight with PAL, you leave Sydney on March 28 and you go back on May 20. So mga uh, 1,369 Australian dollars. Mahal pa din, no? Melbourne to Manila. Tingnan natin with PAL how much. Yun nga, uh, our date is March 28. And we go back on April 20. Okay. We go Melbourne to Manila. You leave Melbourne on March 28. That's for, um, this one is a bit cheaper. March 30, 731 Australian dollars. And then you go back to Melbourne after your holiday in, Man in the Philippines on April 21 for 589 total price. With PAL, leaving on March 20, going back on April 21 to Melbourne is 1,320 Australian dollars. Now let's go back to our flight schedules. Moving forward, we have Manila to Port Moresby on March 12 and 26. Manila to London Heathrow, London Heathrow to Manila once a week every Tuesday until March 29 except on March 1. Once a week every Tuesday. Then let's go to their flights to or from Asia. Let's start with Manila to Singapore. That's daily, guys. PAL also announced that they will be having VTL, vaccinated travel lane flights. So if you, any Filipino, any tourist from the Philippines going to Singapore, uh, if you want to go there for as a tourist, avail that VTL flights. We have Manila to Kuala Lumpur daily, except on March 4. Manila to Nahanoy, that's every Thursday. Manila to Saigon po, Saigon to Manila, four times a week na po. Talagang mas nag-increase na yung flights ngayon. I was just checking today, Singapore to Manila, you leave Singapore on March 20, babalik ka ng April 15. It's at, uh, total price is what 465 Singaporean dollars. This one already includes yung promotion nila na 30 kilos na check-in luggage. Then we have Manila to Phnom Penh every Friday. And then going back to from Phnom Penh to Manila, it's on Saturday po. Manila to Jakarta daily, starting March 15. Jakarta to Manila, same thing daily. Manila to Seoul, Incheon, Incheon to uh, Manila. It's four times a week po, effective March 9. We have for, going to Thailand, we have daily flights. Tokyo, Haneda five times. While Tokyo Narita is daily po. Cebu to Tokyo, Tokyo to Narita. Uh, Cebu to Tokyo Narita, Tokyo Narita to Cebu, it's on March 5 and 19. Manila to Fukuoka, four times a week po. As I was just checking today, um, Tokyo Narita to Manila po, round trip ticket. Uh, May 25 yung alis sa Tokyo, balik naman is... Uh, yung alis mo sa Tokyo, March 27. Balik mo sa Tokyo naman, March 25. With uh, 23 kilos na po included ni check-in luggage. Is at 107,000 Japanese yen. We also have Osaka daily flights. Nagoya, 4 times a week po ito. Yung Hong Kong nila, 4 times a week na din. Yung Taipei, 3 times a week. Now guys, if you want to check out the daily flights, in Naiya, guys, go to the Facebook page of Ninoy Aquino International Airport or go to the website po. Every day they post it. I was just checking today po. We have Japan Airlines, na Narita, Gulf Air, Bahrain, Starlux, na Taipei to Manila. Marami po sa so Terminal 1, Thai Airways for Bangkok, Jetstar kung Singapore. Yan Asiana Airlines, Incheon to Manila, Oman Air. Yan China Southern for, um, this is coming from China, no? And good news for those with layover in Taiwan, allowed na po siya starting March 1. And then for Terminal 2, of course, that one is exclusive to PAL, no? Arrival, Terminal 2 arrival. And Terminal 3, different airlines. I always notice before three times lang, ngayon, four daily flights na from Singapore to Manila with Singapore Airlines. Kadami. Terminal 3, also foreign airlines. We have Emirates, oh, dalawang beses, Dubai to Manila today. 
Cebu Pacific naman po, ito po yung mga daily flights nila. International flight schedules for the month of March. forget guys if you're flying especially if you're traveling during the pandemic to keep up to date to any changes follow the rules or advisories of your airlines airports country of destination and even your own country of origin if there are changes on travel uh, we are seeing right now uniform that countries are lifting restrictions loosening up Siguro malapit ng matapos ang COVID. Sana nga. And this is all po for this video for the flights. I'll see you again with another travel update. Kung nakapag-book na kayo ng flight, comment down below your airline and how much you paid. Give others tips or ideas. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!